What's going on YouTube? Just now right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you who are waiting for the Falsa Escape or Falsa without a jailbreak. It has finally been released by Kayla or Brendan here on Twitter. They posted quote release blank Falsa for iOS 14.0 up to 14.3 on A14 and lower. So as you can see this is basically the Falsa file manager which is exactly the one that you have here on the Cydia which allows you to browse your system and do modifications to your device and so on but without a jailbreak so with this there is also no jailbreak detection now normally this was in development by apple dry 05 but apparently somebody else brandon plank was also developing it and they released it first so as you can see here it's now available for 14.3 and lower and you can get it right now now this is based of course on modern pointer secura verosa which is an exploit for ios 14.3 and lower that was released now there have been some licensing issues between brandon and the modern pawner but apparently these have been resolved so you would be pleased to know that the entire changes created by Brandon are open source and available here on github as plank files so if you want to see exactly what you are installing well you can definitely check it out in here you can see exactly what's been used and you can see all the post exploitation which is available right here so you can see exactly what's going on now the important part in here is that you can get it right now but you cannot get it as an IPA just yet you need to get the script that is used to compile it, which is this one in here you basically download the combine.sh you right click and save it save it anywhere you want on your computer and then you have to run it using the terminal but first you're going to have to chmod plus x the uh, file because it may not run you do this and after that you can run the file with no problem but you do need to have dpkg installed and they give you the command you need in order to get dpkg and you also need to have xcode or at least the xcode command line tools so once you run everything in here you will be able to have the uh, Falsa, the IPA file and you can sideload it to your device. The reason this was done and the reason you don't get the IPA file right away is because that would be in violation with the license by Modern Pwner because of course you probably remember that they require everything to be open source if it uses their exploit. They have a little note in here in which they say quote if you want to use it in your project under the GPL not compatible license please DM us to get permissions. We give permissions to Coolstar to use it and modify for Odyssey the best jailbreak but we hope all modern modifications will be open source. So that's why Brandon had to open source Plank Falza, but that's also the reason you have to compile it yourself. Well, not really to compile it, but mostly to combine the two files, the original Falza and the patches that give it the exploit. So after you do that, you would be able to have the Falza file manager running on your device without a jailbreak, which is an advantage because you don't get jailbreak detection with this. So you can use it with no problem without being detected by applications that normally would refuse to work on a jailbreak. So yeah, and they also added iOS 13 support. They posted, quote, Plank Falza has been updated. iOS 13 support. Run the script on macOS to produce a new IPA. And it's basically the same script that I talked about that you have to run yourself. You just have to run those two commands, but make sure you have dpkg and Xcode command line tools installed. So, should you get this one from Brandon or should you wait for Apple Drive's version? Well, both of them will be installable only via a script like this one, because both of them would actually be in violation of modern Pawner's license if they released an IPA file that is closed source. So if you're planning to wait for Apple Drive's version because you think it's going to be an IPA, well it's not going to be. Initially Brandon released it as an IPA and Modern Pawner wasn't exactly very happy with it. So the only way to fix that was of course to basically open source everything and make it available only via a script. Anyways, you can get it and it's compatible with iOS 14.3 and lower, even on the iPhone 12, iPhone 11, 11 Pro, 12 mini, iPhone Tennis, Tennis Max and so one so basically on all devices on iOS 14 you can do a lot of modifications with Falza as well you can browse the entire file system and you can do modifications which is actually great so definitely check it out if you want to but you do need Xcode and dpkg in order to compile it it's not going to be available as an IPA file from Brandon because they cannot distribute it because of the licensing so thank you for watching I am Geosnow till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out